In this video, I'll be showing you how to complete the brand new Terra Maledicta Easter Egg quest that allows you to obtain the Decimator Shield Wonder Weapon and access the round-based Void Objective on the map. Unfortunately, this quest is really basic and is just story-driven with no boss fights. Just like the prologue quest on Dirt and Fang that introduced us to Vakana the Last who opened up a green portal for us to make our way to Egypt. This quest follows directly on from that. She has now built a wand artifact that grants the Special Forces team with healing aura, it has an awesome branching aesthetic with jellyfish healing energy. Trick seem very short on time with a small team of Vanguard zombies, so that's representative with the caliber of these quests. When you spawn into the map, Vakana reminds you of the pages from the Tomb of Rituals trapped by the Anchors that may be key to defeating Von List and Cortifex. We encountered them in the Void on Dur and Fang. My allies, you escape Stalingrad to a new arena of battle. Go through portals. Clear barriers, and let us prevail together. I am Vakana the Last, and I mean to end this war on my terms. Remember that page from the Tome of Rituals? The one locked in a void spell. It may be your key to victory. Win my trust, seedlings, and I'll help you obtain it. Enter the portals to complete objectives to open up merchant roads in the hub. Here you will see the decimator shield stuck in flames locked atop some dark ether crystals. The dark ether entities will then tell you about its backstory as it's actually alive and is a dark ether being itself known as Shigenaro Otter. He's been forced to slaughter despite him not wanting to. You learn that four currently unbreakable crystals must be shattered to free the decimator. Is that the decimator shield? But I thought it was lost long ago in the dark ether. Closer you get. I found it in the wilds, in Victor, and brought it here. Examine it, and you will see it lies dormant. Alas, the crystals contaminating this area have locked it in place. Oh, four crystals must be shattered, but they are currently unbreakable. There is a way to weaken those crystals. But the Decimator could be dangerous in the wrong hands. And you have yet to prove yourselves worthy. Continue with your usual duties, my allies. Vakana will come to trust you as I have. If needs be, complete an objective to open up more of the map so that speak holder is open. When you return slash the area is open, Vakana informs you that there's a speaking stone near the green speed caller fountain. There is a speaking stone near the green fountain. Find it, that we may discuss our next steps. Make your way to the tents and interact with the Dark Aether rune. A blue portal opens up thanks to Sarakix and you learn more about the Decimator. When I found the Decimator, discarded and forgotten in the wilds of the Dark Aether, his inner flame had dwindled to an ember. He was once a soldier, cruel and exalted, but Cortifex cursed him, trapping his spirit within his own shield. Finding him in such a wretched state made my heart swell with pity. Seriously, Vulcana, I will never understand this need to... Uh, what is it my playthings call it? Ah, yes. To forgive. Whatever you wish to call it. When I saw these seedlings try and fail to obtain that tome page, I saw an opportunity, a chance for the Decimator to achieve something Sir Axis may be more familiar with. Let me guess, a redemption. You are not as hopeless as I once thought, Sir Axis. Thus, I sent the Decimator here to be claimed by these humans. But those crystals are in our way. I think I know why. Cortifex uses Augmentor Worms to boost his power. I sensed their corruption in those four crystal locks. Then to weaken those locks, we must purge more augmenters. Precisely. I shall open a portal in. Oh, well there, Conqueror Guy. I'm actually starting to give a damn how this turns out. Let me take the wheel this time. You up for this play, things? Consider it done! Well done! Like Grandad's Barbie! Enter the portal to purge more Augmenter Worms powering Cortifex. Go, this Nauticus. Cleanse the control runes in the Dark Aether. Remember, Augmenter Worms summon defenders, so work quickly. Complete the objective as normal and purge all of them like you would in Domination. Success! 
The Decimator is yours to take. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? Draw your own conclusions, but I think you'll find the Decimator interesting. You'll then return and be informed by Kraft that the crystals have cracked. You see? Without the Augmentus to empower them, the crystal locks have cracked. Break them completely and the Decimator's shield will be free. Thanks to them being weakened, you can now shoot the crystals on the cliff face opposite to free the shield. Once done, you will see them drift in the sky over to the shield. Well done, but it seems the shield remains. Dormant, Professor. His spark of life is barely detectable to me. Fanning it to a flame will take further heroics from our seedling friends. Find the speaking stone near the yellow fountain. I would hear what their karma has in mind. Is that clear, soldiers? Unfortunately, it's not enough, and you then need to head by the Yellow Fountain in the Bazaar, complete more objectives if needs be to open up this area, interact with the Dark Aether Rune to hear a conversation, giving more backstory on court effects, and Vakana opens up a green portal. Well, Vakana, how do you think we can wake up the Decimator? Cortifex has revived an ancient blood rite to increase his powers. His puppets sacrifice themselves to siphon cores that collect their essence. Once they drink their fill, the cores open rifts, unleashing more revenants than they consumed. Yes, yes, we've all seen it. Get to the point. At ease, Destroyer. I think I see where this is going. As do I. There is a strong exchange of life energy in such a process, and Verkana commands life energy. That's right, Belakar. We must find Cortifex's siphon cores and turn that blood right to suit our purposes. You guys done flapping your gums? Let's give the Decimator an eye-opening experience, what do you say? Now is as good a time as any. Seedlings, are you ready? I won't f*** this up, trust me! Enter the portal and you'll be taken into the Dark Aether. The shield will soak up power as long as you disrupt their ritual. You will see the Decimator come down, held up by anchors, holding the sacred tombs of ritual pages. You were greeted by the powerful Zabella the Deceiver, who served as one of Cortifex's Sisters of Agony. Who Seraxis the Shadow used to be a part of too, but is no longer, which is why they look so similar, because they are indeed sisters. Is that the Decimator Shield? <laughs> I see what you're up to, Verkana. It won't work. Zabala the Deceiver is about to teach you something the Decimator learned a long time ago. Never cross Lord Cortifex! Revenants! Start the blood Do you right. see the Sturm Krieger? Big, tough, and they shoot back. See that, seedlings? A poisonous bloom just begging to be clipped. You need to defend the Siphon Cores from impeding hordes as well as Zabella. Her three faces are protected by masks that are her weak point to shoot. If you manage to defend them all successfully and defeat Zabella, the Decimator will be awakened and you will return to the desert. You've won more than a battle. You've restored the Decimator. My friends, you live! Did Vekana's plan work? Professor, we are coming back now. Prepare to be amazed. You can now finally obtain the Decimator Shield. Uh, uh, what? What is happening? Can it be? Am I returned to the waking world? The Decimator lives again! Whoever you are, I am in your debt. I pledge my unyielding fealty and my thunderous wrath, for surely 
you are aligned against dread court effects. He who cursed me, the Decimator, will aid your quest. Let us go to battle! And now we have yet another ally in our lonely little war. Equip yourselves with the Decimator, my pupils. After all, we got it for a reason. Now you are finally ready to retrieve the tome page we saw encased in that void spell. Verkana, I assume the Decimator can sever void energy anchors? He can now. But let's chat strategy before the seedlings jump back into what was an unwinnable battle. Will you go to the Speaking Stone near the Blue Fountain, little humans? It has a cool blast ability whilst defending you a bit and is key to breaking the void energy anchors. The shield doesn't take up a weapon slot so you have three weapons like you would have a mule kick. Because of this the decimator doesn't really act as a proper weapon. It will provide defense but the shock blast you can only do once and then you have to wait for it to recharge. Complete objective so you are able to access the debris fields if you haven't already and then interact with the dark ether rune in debris fields. When last you attempted to take that spellbook page, you were thwarted by the void magic that protects it. Indeed. The power of that spell is one reason we are convinced that the tome page contains a secret to separating court effects from his human host. Well, the Decimator now has the power to blast through the energy anchors empowering that spell. But... The portal we used to reach that place is back in that frozen city. Must we return there and be trapped by the containment spell once more? Forget that! Come on, Vakana! You've got the juice! Open up a portal. I will. The only question is if our seedling soldiers are ready to do this. I'm on it! Vakana opens up another portal for you in the dark ether. That portal, to me, it reeks of death. I sense worlds overlapping. The veil is thin in there. This takes you to the void objective. Just like Shinonuma before, it is round based. Don't want to beat. Don't get to beat. I recognize that shield. Do not expect it to save you. Activate the shield's blast ability by the anchors to free the pages from them. So yeah, just shock one of the anchors and then you have to wait for it to recharge to shock the next one. And do that until you've shocked all four. It is recommended to keep a zombie at the end of the round so that you don't progress onto the next round. And you are able to break all four of the anchors all on one round. Once you've managed to break the anchors, you will then be able to collect the page and enter the green portal to return to the map. You've taken my tomb page! TV Vermin! Outstanding mortals! We made quite a team. I look forward to seeing that page. We certainly earned it today. When you return to the Egypt hub, that's the Easter egg complete. A bunch of loot and chests will then fall onto the ground. Attention! We need to dispatch a message to the Dark Ether. Professor. I'm sharing the page from the ton of rituals that we just collected. Yes. Yes, I see it, Belica. It... It appears to be what we were hoping for. There may well be a method here to sever the link between Von List and Cortifex. Uh, so, uh, what does that mean for the rest of us? If Von List possessed such knowledge, why did he not use it against us? He is not as well versed in rune magic as our good professor. The better question is, why did Cordifex not deploy that spell to stop us? These are mysteries that must wait for now. I need time to truly grasp what is on this page. Then we fight on. But if nothing else, today erased any doubts I had about joining your seedling resistance. I have found my new clan. Let us crush all tyrants and restore our lands together. 
Once you are back on the map, you will be able to go back to the void at any point. The portal will still be there if you want to play round based. You have to survive at least three rounds in order to return. Where we are left at the end is that the special forces, Kraft and the Dark Aether entities are a step closer to defeating Von List and Court Effects thanks to the knowledge from the pages. The old ones do question why Court Effects didn't trap them in a spell again, but these are mysteries for another day. Vakana is joining the old ones as a new clan, as a prior clan was slaughtered and a sacred forest burn to the ground. The books give information about severing the bond between Court Effects and Von List via the artifact which is his scepter. This will sever Court Effects' connection with the world. We're not sure exactly what the next DLC map will be, but we will learn more in Season 2 Reloaded. That's everything, thank you for watching and uh, bye.